here's a quick look at the tax that would pop out. Jit feel like a kid in a candy shop here because there's like so much cool stuff to see. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and I'm super excited about today's video. We are over here at Armor Max and Armor Max is a company that basically builds sort of like military type civilian vehicles. What they do is they reinforce vehicles. So anything from run flat tires to bulletproof glass to like full armor kits on vehicles, they do all this crazy stuff. And even like stuff as crazy as like a smoke screen on a vehicle, it's just, the options are pretty much endless with them, but we're actually getting a like full on tour of their factory, which is just, it's crazy. I'm so grateful they're giving me access to this, but let's head inside. Now we have a couple display pieces over here that are really cool. So you actually have some of the bulletproof glass. I mean, you can see this thing has just been shot like a million times and well, nothing's gone through. The other neat little thing are the run flat tires. So this one has like a section cut out of it so you can actually see what's going on on the inside of it. But it's really cool technology in my opinion because I mean, think about it. Like if you run over something, it pops a tire or someone, well, shoots your tire, right? Then you can just keep driving. Now here's another piece of bulletproof glass and you can see that you've got three shots that are through it. And well, I shouldn't say through it, that are in it, not through it which again is pretty neat. And the best way for me to describe how the bulletproof glass works is basically it dissipates the energy. So instead of just letting all the energy go into one point, it spreads the energy out. So think about like the last time you went swimming and think if you like jump off the diving board and you're like jumping off and you like put your legs together and you're like all nice and clean, you go really deep into the swimming pool. But then think if you jump off the diving board and you just belly flop. You don't really go that far down. It hurts a lot obviously, but you don't go far down same concept here, right? So instead of letting it go and penetrate all the way through, spreads out the energy and, well, it doesn't penetrate. Something else that's really neat is all of these articles and these are all vehicles that they have armored. So you can see that they've done a Tesla, a Hellcat, and more importantly, an all-wheel drive Hellcat is now bulletproof. I mean, just some of the stuff that they've done. And there's a bunch more over here. Let me show you some of the cool cars they've done. Here's another one. You guys will be pretty familiar with this. There's not that many of them, but the Resvani tank, that's another one that they've done. I think they've said that they did about 10 of these roughly. There's only about 20 in the world. So it's crazy that they've done armoring stuff on 10 out of the 20, but yeah, that's another one they've done. Another one that's really important is obviously for law enforcement. And so the main thing that they're gonna do is just bulletproof windshields because when people do shoot at a vehicle, they are gonna go for the windows typically. So bulletproof windows are super important to do. And well, that's another one that they've done. And you guys can see, I mean, the wall is completely covered with all these different cool vehicles that they've done over the years. Let me show you guys a couple vehicles in different parts of the process. So this Range Rover was just like very recently received. And you guys are wondering, why is everything taped off? So obviously they don't want any damage to happen to the vehicle, so they tape everything off. And the cool thing about this particular tape is just like vinyl, it actually protects the paint underneath. It's really easy to pull off. So you, got, you can see right here that it doesn't leave adhesive or anything like that. So it's super easy to actually pull it off and it's spark resistant as well. So when they are doing the cutting and everything, nothing's going to let on fire. And then, you know, if something accidentally did hit up against it, it actually does have a level of protection on that as well. But this is kind of what the vehicle basically looks like at first. So they'll tape everything up when they are going to be doing the armoring. And then you notice that here, this kind of looks all the same, but they come to the door panel and this is the first thing that's gonna happen is they're gonna have to take everything apart on the door panels with the vehicle itself. And then obviously they're gonna have to remove everything from the interior. So they gotta take out all of the seats and then you've got some of these components that are still left in, but they pretty much have to gut the car completely. I'll show you another one that's like in another part of the process, but this one's kind of like halfway done. So they got the door panel off and they got this part off, but they still have to take out quite a bit more. And man, this new Range Rover, this is whoever, Whoever owns this, the spec you picked with the white and this wood trim and everything, you, good job on the spec. Coming back here, you guys will maybe recognize this. This is another Range Rover. Now this one has been completely gutted out. So you guys can kind of see the next part of the process where just everything has to be taken out of the vehicle itself. I mean, there's pretty much nothing left. Like it's actually hard to tell what vehicle this is. The only reason I can tell is just because of the lines here in the back. Cause if I actually pop over the front and you got this one, so you can see that still looks like a Range Rover. And then you come here to the front and it's really difficult actually to tell what the vehicle is. So yeah, they literally have to take everything apart. It's extremely intensive work. 
to be able to do the armoring process. So this is pretty neat. This is a back hatch on an SUV and you can kind of see like the process as it's happening. So you have everything here on the back, but more importantly, you've got the armoring behind. So you have that bulletproof glass. You could also do a partition as well. Just depends on what you want. And then you have all the reinforcement being added down below. And again, it just depends on the thickness that you want and all of that, but it's just pretty cool to see how this is kind of just like a work in progress with where this is at. Now quickly, I just wanted to show this one because it is an Escalade. It is the longer wheelbase and this one has been all decked out. But the reason that I think it's so cool is like that's exactly what I think of when I think of like a presidential vehicle. I think of something that again is like a Chevy or a Cadillac, long wheelbase, all blacked out. And yeah, that, that, that one's like the quintessential bulletproof armored vehicle right there in front of us. I know what you guys are thinking. You guys are thinking that they only do like luxury vehicles and all that kind of stuff and they do pretty much everything. Got a Toyota Tundra over here. So I mean, a Tundra, right? When I think of a Tundra, I think of just kind of like a reliable work truck. And I mean, I know this one's a 1794 edition, so it's like the luxury Tundra. But again, I just think of like a normal work truck. I don't think of like a crazy high end expensive vehicle. And yet it's another vehicle that they've armored. So they literally armor everything. I mean, you can see over there, you've got a Mercedes Sprinter. I mean, you just have, oh, and there's another one right next to me. I'm apparently a blind guys, but there's literally everything. I mean, the sky's the limit and just any vehicle that someone want armored, they are going to add the reinforcement. And again, it's something as simple as just maybe adding bulletproof glass because you just wanna make sure that you protect yourself or run flats. I mean, it could be simple things or it could be like a full on crazy build. and just depends on what you want. I legit feel like a kid in a candy shop here because there's like so much cool stuff to see, like using kind of like military technology to reinforce civilian vehicles. I just think that's the coolest thing ever. But obviously, again, just seeing in person, like, look, this is a hood that's gonna get reinforced. And then you can see you've got a couple doors over here that are gonna get reinforced. Like seeing this all in person is just awesome. Being able to see like the whole like warehouse setup is also awesome. And by the way, this isn't the only like setup that they have. So this is their location here in the US, but they they are all over the world. They armor vehicles literally, I mean, like I said, all over the world. There's so many different locations that they have. It's just absolutely crazy. So even if you don't live in the US, they could still do a vehicle for you if you wanted an armored vehicle. But you guys can just see like all of the different like parts and pieces that are associated with this. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna take you guys kind of like on a mini tour back here. This is this is like super, super behind the scenes. But you again, you can just see all of the stuff and I don't know if those are run flats or not, but if those are run flat tires, I mean, that, that'd that be pretty cool. We'll see if we can kind of figure this out. Eh, maybe, maybe. I mean, we could be looking at a pile of run flat tires. I mean, we've got a bunch of, we've got a bunch up here. This is just, it's so cool to see like all this in person, being able to see like all of the parts and pieces and then also being able to see them come together. I mean, it's just like, it's a really neat experience. Like this is one of those things where just being able to come here and experience all this is yeah. one of, it's it's one of those things where I'm always gonna remember that like for the rest of my life and look at that. Those have to be that's like the run flat like room. That's crazy. There's so much stuff here. So I actually have an update for you guys on the Tundra. This is actually a really cool build. So this truck has not been completed yet. It just got here. They're still kind of like finalizing details on what they're doing. So they are going to armor the truck. But the other cool stuff they're gonna do to it is they're gonna do like a starry headliner at the top of doing custom interior. And so not only are they doing the process of obviously making it so the vehicle has this like crazy armor casing around it, but then they're also doing the stuff to make it cool on the inside. And another great example, this Sprinter that I showed you earlier, and this is kind of more on like the simple side, but it's still pretty cool. But in the back here, they're actually adding a shower. So again, they're doing the reinforcement process, but then they're also adding some extra stuff to it. So it's not just like this like super basic thing where they only add like one thing or another. They actually do quite a bit. And so again, it's just, it's cool to see this all in person. Now you guys are gonna see this in the review or you already have seen this in the review, but the next really cool thing is this G-Wagon has the smoke screen function. So this is actually filled with antifreeze, which it's going to come out of the exhaust, but it's just a really neat little thing. And I'm, I'm excited to see what this actually looks like in person. Just actually seeing this like do a smoke screen out the side. I mean, obviously it's for safety stuff, but you could just do it for fun if you just wanted to mess around. So 
this is really funny. This is the button, remember, for the electric door handles, and when you turn it off, it makes like a little sound like something's like, eh, like it's screaming, it's, it's kind of funny. So here's a quick look at the tacks that would pop out. Um, obviously, again, they come out from the back, but you guys will notice that you've got quite a bit that would come out from the tacks. Now, the cool thing about the tacks themselves is if you actually look at the design on the tack, notice that there's this little hollow area right there. So the tack would go in and puncture the tire, and then the air would be released through that hollow cavity, so then the tire would go flat. Because if you notice, if you've ever been hit by like a nail or something in your tire, then what usually happens is if the nail stays in the tire, you don't don't lose air pressure but again if the air can escape through that cavity then it'll lose air pressure and then the tire will go flat so pretty neat little thing with the tacks so it is the next day and I just wanted to wrap things up the day after so I kind of like let everything marinate and well that was a weird word to use but you guys get what I'm saying so I kind of like condense all my thoughts with everything that happened I know it's a little bit different than what I normally have I normally go to a dealership and everything is filmed on a lot and all that and so going to like a factory setting is completely different and yeah it was exciting to get like a behind the scenes look it was so cool to see all the armored vehicles and like all the stuff that basically has to happen and one thing that I forgot to put is the armor stuff that they actually use is super lightweight it's really cool I'm kind of disappointed but I actually picked up like a steel plate basically and then picked up the armor stuff that they use and it was like incredible like this the, the plate that I picked up it was like super difficult to lift and then the armor they use I mean you literally could just like throw it like a frisbee like it was that light which was pretty cool but if you guys want to see more content like that obviously with armor max and other places like that let me know in the comment section below and I'm sure we can figure something out and maybe we need to uh, armor the Raptor with everything that's happening in the world you know I mean you never know at this point it, Things are, things are going pretty crazy nowadays. But as always, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe, and then I will see all of you in that next video.